<laughs> oh, hello, folks. How about joining in with us and singing a little song? Let me see now. Uh, uh, oh, here's a right good one. Old MacDonald had a farm, eh? You remember that? Well, if you don't, maybe this will help you. Just follow the bouncing ball. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Yeah, I gotta watch a sheep on account of the wolf will get him if I don't watch him. See, I'm a sheepdog, yeah, but he ain't gonna get him, no sir, no sir, yeah, uh oh, cause I'm a sheepdog, I am, and I'm too smart for him, I am, yeah.
times have I got to tell you sheep not to leave the flock on account of the wolf will get you. And then you'll be sorry because you didn't listen to me when I told you. But you sheep never want to... Gee, what an ugly looking sheep. But you sheep never want to listen to me. No, you never do want to... Now get back in there and stay there! Why, the dirty no good... Well, hello. What have we here? Mutton. Ah. T tender. Mm, a bit scrawny. Catchers are gonna get me.
101, 102, 103, 
there's a crazy house. We'll go back home. Ah, home sweet home. Isn't it good to be back home, nice little boy? Even a nibble, Isabel. My scale's alive. Whoever showed you how to pull in a fish? A talking fish? I... I didn't know a fish could talk. Mm, well, I can, because I'm Red Lantern, the guiding light to the land of the lost. Land of the lost? What's that? It's a wondrous kingdom at the bottom of the sea, where everything that is lost on Earth finds its way. How would you like to see that jackknife you lost, young man? My jackknife? Oh, boy, would I? Well, I could take you to him. Here, just stuff this magic seaweed in your pockets. It will allow you to breathe underwater. Now, hurry, put me back. OK, let's go. <laughs> Like floating in the air. Sure is. But you can breathe and talk and everything. Wait, Red Lantern. You look so much different than you did in the boat. Well, that's because, uh, <laughs> just because I was a fish out of water. Come now, let's get a rip on. We've a long way to go. All ashore that's going ashore. And now, young man, here's where you'll find your jackknife. a table leg. He always makes his point when playing mumbly peg. <laughs> Such amateur exploits. Oh, no, that won't do. <laughs> Does pen knife carve a bread knife? What say you? Has he learned to open a letter yet? I say he can even cut butter, I bet. Imagine that tin man in our silver set. <laughs> Please let him join. Don't be so mean. I think he's cute and very keen. I fear the young blade is too dull for us here. Let him return when he's carved out a career. It's the 
dirty dirt. Two arms! It's dirty dirt! He's captured Princess Butter Knight! Knives of the square table! To the rescue! Look sharp! Feel sharp! Be sharp! me. Don't push me. Santa Claus is not in the chimney. Oh, what's the use? We animals don't have a Santa Claus. Well, why don't we have a Santa Claus? I don't know. Santa Claus is only for children. There is no Santa for animals. That's right, Annie. Let's do something about it. We must make a plan. We must send someone to see Santa Claus. But who shall we send? Kitty Cat, she's smart. Besides, she's beautiful, too. Oh, let me go with you, Kitty. Annie and Kitty, that's a good choice. Well, we must hurry. It's Get my late. muffler, hurry, Bye, John. hurry. <laughs> Goodbye, Horace, dear. Goodbye, Annie. Bye, Billy. Uh, 
Bye, kitty cat. Take care of yourself. We'll be back soon. Don't get lost. And don't catch cold. We'll be thinking of you and waiting for you at home. How big is Santa Claus, anyway? Oh, very big, enormous! Oh, is our chimney big enough for him? Well, why don't you look inside and see? All right, I will. Well, how is it? Oh, it's kind of small way up on top. What shall we do about it? Well, I know. Oh, Felix, look out! The chimney's falling down! Felix, the chimney's falling down! Oh, Felix! Oh. Felix, my oh. poor Felix! Oh. Speak to me, Felix. Uh, Speak to me. Uh, Are you hurt, uh, Felix? Hey, of course not. Just out of breath from blowing the snow out of our chimney. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired, my paws. Are... My whiskers are freezing. Is it much further? Courage, oh. kitty, courage. Be a brave cat. Do you see anything, Annie? Yes, yes. Oh, my. I'm so tired. My good meow. Is it much further? It's just past the iceberg. Felix, look at the time. It's getting late. Oh, where are they? Where are they? It's such a dark, cold night. Hurry, kitty, hurry! Here's Santa! I told you he was just around the corner. He's just filled up his big pack. Oh, hurry, kitty. Hello, Mr. Santa Claus. Hello, Mr. Santa Claus. Welcome, my animal friend. Oh, sir, there is no Santa for animals. That's right, sir, no animal Santa. I know, that's why you came to see me. Now, kitty cat, you can be my animal Santa. Kitty cat? Me, sir? Why, of course, I've often worried about animals at Christmas time, but I've been so busy with children. Now, kitty cat, you can represent me for all animals. My, what a beautiful costume. Yes, it sure is. <laughs> now you put it on. Oh, thank you, Annie. Thank you. That's right. Kitty, that hat looks so nice on you. Now you're a real animal Santa. Goodbye, Kitty. Goodbye, Santa Claus. Goodbye, Mr. Santa Claus. Now here's your pack over here. Remember, give all the animals a present. Oh, this is wonderful. I'll remember everyone. It's Annie. Oh, she's bad. Oh, let him, let them inside where it's warm. Sure. Go oh, on Annie, here. tell us all about oh, it. Kitty where, cat? Is, where is Kitty Cat, well, Annie? Come on here. Well, aren't you going to tell us, Annie? Well. Come on now, Annie, tell us. Well. Tell us all about it. Santa Claus is coming. You'll have your own Santa Claus. Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. Merry Christmas. Here's a present for you, Annie. Thank you, Mr. Santa Claus. And one for you, Horace. Oh, thank you, Santa. And for you, Felix. What's this? A tail? Yeah.
pants get a stale. <laughs> <laughs> you're not Santa, you're Kitty Cat. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, I have a present for you. <laughs> it's a mouse. No, Horace. Not on Christmas. Oh, no? No. Oh, my whiskers! Here, Mousie, here's a piece of cheese for you. And a Merry Christmas to you. Why, here's Santa Claus himself. He'll tell you I'm the animal Santa. Merry Christmas, everybody. Please, Santa, tell them what you said. Kitty Cat is official Santa Claus for animals always. Well, Merry Christmas and goodbye, good animals. Merry Christmas to you, Mr. Thank Santa you Claus, and present. thank you very much for the I'm present. Yes. Goodbye. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. I was such a stupid doggy. Felix. Let's sing your Christmas song. Yeah. You begin it. Yeah. There's Santa Claus for you. There's Santa Claus for me. With Santa now for animals. We're, We're happy, happy as, as can be. be. We, we wish, wish you each and every one loads and loads of Christmas fun. <laughs> Christmas. Everybody. Come on, fellas. That's right. Now we'll say prayers real nicely, no playing, huh? That's right. Get down, Mike. Good children. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night be by my side, to light and God, to rule. Amen. Amen. We're ready now. How about the story? <sighs> what kind of a story? Oh, about animals. Animals. About baby Jesus. Well, let's see. Supposing I tell you a story about both. Suppose I tell you about baby Jesus and a little lamb who for one night was the most important little lamb in the whole wide world. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. A long time ago, nearly 2,000 years ago, in fact, in the hills of Judea, just outside the little town of Bethlehem, on one cold, storm-laden night, we find three shepherds who are very important to our story. The sheep have devils in them tonight. A dozen times has the storm scattered them. They are all safe now, Asa. Uh, all except one lamb. Well, aren't you going to look for him? I have looked for him. Looked for him till I'm worn out. That one lamb has run away more times than all the others put together. Then I will go. I will help you. Then you are both fools. He's frightened, Uncle Lisa, and miserable. He may be hurt. I can't leave him like that. Ah. We'll be back as soon as we find him. Come, my son. thou shalt know him. Thou wilt find him wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger.
What is it? What is it mean? We must tell Aza of this. Uncle Asa, an angel appeared to us, and he said, Christ the King is born. What? The storm must have battled thy brain. Hearest thou this drivel thy son uttereth? But Asa, what the boy saith is true. I too saw the angel and heard him speak. You can see what good it did to search for that lamb. Already he's running away again. I'll take care of him, Uncle Asa. Thou needst have no concern. We must look for the Christ child. And we shall find him lying in a manger. That must mean that he's in a stable. And why should a king be born in a stable? Answer me that. Perhaps we shall know that when we find him. Wilt thou come with us, Asa? Yea, I will go with thee. Wait! Wilt thou take the lamb? I'll be responsible for him, Uncle Asa. What new madness is this? Put that lamb down and leave him. Let the boy alone, Asa. What harm can it do? And, carrying the little lamb with them, Reuben, Benjamin, and Asa struggled through the hills on this very holy night. Hours later, they approached the little town of Bethlehem. Cold, crowded, wonderful Bethlehem lying before them in the night. Who art thou? What seek ye? We come seeking Christ the King. Why well, think ye he is here? An angel told us he is born. Is he here? Please, the lamb would keep him warm. The lamb, for which I had no care is of the greatest importance. Oh, Lord, I did not know. Forgive me.